Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions, and it's that time of year again. There's a new version of AutoCAD, and today we're going to take a look at what's new, as well as dive into a couple of the cool new features. Uh, so today's Two Minute Tuesday is going to be a little bit different, but I think you're going to enjoy it. Let's check out what's new in AutoCAD this year. <laughs> All right, so as with every new year, AutoCAD has published a blog post kind of highlighting a lot of the new features and benefits of the new version of AutoCAD. So you can check it out. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description below to learn a little bit more and to read through these. We're just gonna touch on each of the new features that they've mentioned, uh, as well as I've got it downloaded and installed. So we're gonna try out the trial and see how a couple of these work. So first up, this year is focusing a lot on connected design. Uh, perhaps this is because of the new work from home and remote work push in the industry, uh, or they've been working on this for a while. But one thing I noticed is a lot of these features are gonna help you with collaboration, working with remote teams, uh, as well as sharing easily. So they've done some updates, including uh, streamlining the drawing review cycle with trace as they call it trace is one of the more interesting features to me uh, it's touted as a way to uh, share and work collaboratively on edits and changes to your dwgs without actually altering the dwg it's going to allow uh, contributors or reviewers to mark up or add changes kind of on top of the actual drawing file which can then be opened up and those changes incorporated within the drawing. It's gonna be exciting to demo this feature when uh, I get a chance to dive in. If you guys would like to learn more about it in particular, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. Same with any of these features. If there's one in particular you'd like a video done on, I'll be doing those in the next few weeks uh, as I get to spend some more time with AutoCAD 2022. The next feature highlighted in the blog post is share uh, and similar to trace this is going to help you when working remotely uh, or with multiple offices uh, it's a way to quickly and easily share your drawings by using the built-in share feature which is going to produce a view or edit uh, link and you can choose whether it's a view only or editable link which will be able to be sent and opened from anywhere uh, using the AutoCAD web app. This could be a big time saver, especially with users that don't have AutoCAD installed, uh, but would like to see uh, maybe do takeoffs or measurements from a drawing or even collaborate and make changes. Next up is possibly the most useful of the updates so far uh, and one that I'm most looking forward to trying out and using in the real world, and that's count. Uh, count is gonna allow us to automatically uh, count blocks or geometry and then pull that information into either a dynamic table or export that data into another format that we can use for creating uh, quantity lists, keeping track of say trees in the example here it looks like for landscape plans or simply just tracking how many of a certain type of block is used within a drawing. This is going to save a ton of time as well as eliminate any double counts or errors when doing things manually. Uh, this is a great feature and one that I've actually been asked quite a bit for or about if this has been an option in the past. Uh, and now they've actually added it built in to the software, uh, not having to use any kind of workarounds or plugins. Uh, so this is one that we're gonna check out in a little bit uh, and I think you guys are gonna like it. All right, next up we've got Autodesk Docs and Push. Uh, and this is the ability to push or publish your AutoCAD drawing directly to Autodesk Docs if you are using that within your company. This is going to prevent the double work of needing to PDF a drawing and then open a browser and upload it to your Autodesk Docs uh, account. Uh, so this is just simply removing some steps and streamlining the processes for those that use the Autodesk Docs feature. All right, so next up is probably my favorite personally, uh, and one that I have honestly asked for in the past. I've mentioned it to coworkers, as well as even on forums, uh, for the ability to work with 
view and edit multiple drawings at the same time. Many software allow you to do this with tabs or multiple windows. AutoCAD is finally incorporating this into base AutoCAD. So we are going to have the ability to have two drawing windows open. Uh, this is extremely useful for those of us that have multiple monitors like I do uh, at my office. I have three. Uh, the ability to use two of them at least to have drawings open is going to speed up the workflow a lot. There are workarounds like running multiple instances of AutoCAD or Civil 3D in my case. But being able to do this all within one instance, having two at a time, whether that's an XREF and a main drawing that you're referencing into and editing on the fly, or two different projects or drawings for a project, being able to go back and forth uh, simultaneously on two monitors while running in one instance is a huge feature update that I've been looking forward to for a long time and I'm excited that it's finally uh, built in. All right, moving on to the next one on the blog post is connecting to Autodesk Drive and Autodesk Docs, uh, as well as many other storage providers. This is all gonna be built in natively to AutoCAD now, so you can open and save files uh, throughout all of the different options. Uh, this can be a big time saver if you're using cloud storage, with a lot, which a lot of us have been or have started using, especially recently with remote work and having to share files quickly. So this can be a time saver as well as just a uh, ease of life and ease of use feature. Lastly here on the blog post, it just mentions enhancements and improved performance. As always, they've been working in the background to speed things up for us, streamline processes, uh, and in this case, they've made enhancements and updates to the installation process, which I can vouch for. Uh, I literally just installed AutoCAD 22 uh, the trial uh, and from start to finish it was less than 10 minutes uh, probably only like seven uh, no issues everything ran really well right off the bat uh, I'll know more once I dive into it but I'm sure that the improvements will be noticeable uh, and I'm hopeful that it's gonna use some of the newer multi-core processors a little more efficiently uh, as we get into some bigger drawings all right, so before we finish up, we're gonna take a quick look at the actual program itself, AutoCAD 2022. You can see here, uh, this is a fresh install of the trial that's available now. And again, I'm gonna put that link down below so you can grab it yourself to try it out. Uh, the start menu here is a little bit different. It looks like they've streamlined it a little bit, made it a little cleaner. Uh, I like how it looks. And I think it's a general improvement over the last few versions. So we're gonna open up the floor plan sample here. All right, so I've got the floor plan sample drawing that comes with the trial open here on the screen. Uh, I've also opened up another drawing, the example one you can see in the tab here, which we'll get to next. Uh, we're just gonna demo two or three of those features that we were just talking about. Uh, and if there's anything you guys would like to dive in deeper in an upcoming video, uh, leave a comment down below uh, and I'll try to do that. So first up, I wanna try out the count command. Uh, that was mentioned in the post. It's probably one of the most uh, exciting new features. So we're just gonna activate that by typing in count, C-O-U-N-T, and hitting enter. It's gonna ask you if you'd like to select a target object or you can list all of the blocks, which is the default option. I'm just gonna hit enter and you can see it brings up this slick new uh, dialog box or flyout uh, called count. And this is gonna let you see all of the different blocks within your drawing. And then from there, it's gonna give you a count of each one. You can right click and insert a count field. So you could put this into a table or a piece of text that's gonna have a live running count of how many instances of the specific block are in your drawing. This is gonna be a huge time saver for quantity tables and takeoffs. Uh, you can see also that by clicking on one, it's gonna highlight them within your drawing, which is a really cool feature. And it's gonna allow you to cycle through them with these arrows up top, as well as choose to insert that count field from up here for this specific block. You can control still your view by zooming in and out or panning around. You can also select a different block and each one is gonna be highlighted as you select it. Uh, when you're finished here, you can just hit the uh, check mark to end your count. Uh, but from a first look and quick look at this feature, uh, this is gonna be 
a huge time saver and I'm a big fan of it so far. So lastly here, I just wanna show how the uh, flyout windows or multiple windows work within the new version. You can simply select a tab and drag it to create a new window. And this can be moved to a second monitor, uh, which you guys aren't able to see right now, but it's on my second monitor and full screen because I just double clicked it. So it's like I'm working within two drawings within one instance of AutoCAD but I don't have to have a second instance of AutoCAD running. Uh, this could be a huge time saver. I like how slick this is and how quickly this splits out and easily. Uh, there was no lag or stalling upon pulling the tab out. Uh, and to replace it or go back to normal, you can simply drag it up top here, just like you can say a browser or Chrome tab. Uh, so this is going to feel intuitive. It's just like most software that you're used to. Uh, and it's going to open up the uh, usefulness of multi-monitors with AutoCAD in general. So I think that's it for today. Uh, this video is getting a little long, especially for a two-minute Tuesday. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you've stuck around till here, don't forget to check out my AutoCAD productivity webinar if you guys want to pick up some quick tips, tricks, and workflows for AutoCAD. As well, I also have an AutoCAD fundamentals and workflows course that's available for pre-order right now. Uh, it's going to be a more in-depth and longer course, uh, as well as touching on a wider variety than just productivity tips. I'm going to put links to both of those. They're both on sale. Uh, and I've also got a package deal there with the course. Uh, so check those guys out. I think you're going to really enjoy it. And if there's anything you'd like to see in AutoCAD 2022 or in a future video, be sure to let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and cheers. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.